Hello everyone, Nisarg here from Data Mites. Today's NumPy interview question is that how do you fill a diagonal value with a number of a NumPy array? I mean, you have a pre-constructed NumPy array and you require to basically replace the null value, sorry, diagonal values of that NumPy array with a specified given number to you. So how do we do this? How do we replace any diagonal values of a NumPy array with a specified number? Let's see. So for that, I'll import my NumPy library. I'll say import NumPy as NP, and then I'll just create one of the NumPy array. I'll say that my a double r, that's my array equals to NP dot array. And inside of it, I'll just take let's say nine, nine comma eight, I'll just gonna take a two by two matrix as such and two comma three, that's it. <clears throat> and then if I just run my, my array, you see that this is a two rows and two column NumPy array created with the diagonal value of nine and three. So this value, let's say I have a value X and it equals to five. And I'm supposed to replace this nine and three value with my x equals to five or the five number. And how do we do this? Actually, we have two methods of doing this. One is the direct method, the direct functionality of NumPy that we're gonna see at the last, that's the easiest one. And one is the brute method that we are gonna hover or we're gonna go through each and every element of our NumPy array. And then with a certain condition, we'll see if the condition is matching, we'll do the manipulation. If not matching, we'll not do anything. So let's see. <clears throat> so for that, what I'm gonna do that, uh, I'll say for I in range length of your array. So <clears throat> what I'm saying that, that you are supposed to you know, go through each and every row indexes because when I say range length of my array, basically it's first starting with zero and then going to one. Now, if I come down and use a nested for loop inside this bigger for loop, if I say for J in <clears throat> range and then I say length of length of my array of I. So basically what I'm saying over here is, okay. So for the very first for loop, I'm saying that, hey, whatever the length of this NumPy array is, you just go with the indexes. So I know that the length is two. So when I iterate through it, it will first iterate through the zeroth index and then first index. So this is like zeroth index and first index. And second, what I'm saying that you be at your zeroth index, because when I say my array of your I, let's say we are in the very first iteration. So I equals to zero, right? And when I say my array of I, when I say my underscore array of zero, in this case, the first row is being captured. The very first row, this one. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm saying for J in range of length of my array of zero. So it's going to give me, or it's going to iterate through the indexes of all the columns which are present in this particular row. So we know that it is a range function. So whatever the length of this my array is, and we are saying for J in the range of this particular length. So it's going to iterate through each and every column which is present in this particular row, right? So <clears throat> you are in your first row at the very first iteration of your outer loop and in your inner loop, you are going to iterate one by one to each and every element. I mean, column wise iteration for the first ever row, right? So your I is standing as your row indexes and J is standing as your column indexes, right? So now if I just simply put a condition saying that, that you know that the diagonal element, the property of diagonal element is that it's row and column index position is also always going to be same, right? 
if you see over here, this is zeroth row and zeroth index. And if you see over here, this is first row and first index, right? So row and column indexes are going to be same. This is the property of diagonal value. So if I simply put a condition over here, if I say, if your row index is equal to your column index, so it certainly means that you are at the diagonal position. So simply you take your array that is my ARR and then you select that particular element by selecting the specific row and column. And then you say equal to your X, which is nothing but five, right? Run this, run your my array. And you can see that both the diagonal element has been converted to five, right? So this was like the proof, like you can go over one by one. And uh, the second one, which is quite simpler, if I just run this cell again, my error, so you can see that we again have initialized my, my error with whatever we have initialized previously. Over here, let me just run it. That's clear. So the direct method, which NumPy has pre-built, inbuilt, is NP dot fill underscore diagonal simple and you put your array and then you put whatever value you want to put so let's say x is equals to 5 so i put x over here and uh, simply when i run this it will go and reflect it back to my original numpy array so now if i run my my underscore arr again I'll see that both the diagonals has been converted to 5, right? Okay, guys, thank you.